if a rhino severed your vocal cords, would you still be happy? No. Where are you going? Without me? Okay, wait, are you single? Yeah. Sammy, nice to meet you. Okay. You have really pretty eyes. Okay, wait, I'm just wondering. Do you want to kiss? You're okay? Wait, how can I make that a yes? Maybe later? Wait, can I get your snacks then? Give me something. I mean, honestly, what the did she expect? Imagine if he'd have asked her that. It'd have been weird. You'd be like, who's this weirdo? If you're gonna do those types of shitty pranks, at least have a bit of game. How old is your daughter? Yeah, that was terrible game. Terrible. That was like, I, I'm i screaming desperate. <laughs> do you think... Well, no, you said it was a prank, so I was gonna say, do you think it was a genuine question? Or she's just being a donkey? I think she's being a donkey. Your age. My age? How do you know how old I am? I don't know, 12? I'm 26! What? Does your wife play Call of Duty? No. I don't have one. Practice That's why I'm playing Call of Duty. The real Hell yeah! I sense a stepmom opportunity! Oh. Do you date at all? Uh, no, no, I have a girlfriend. Stop it. Get some help. So I'm gonna ask you directly. I don't understand what happened there. She had one of those aneurysms. You know where like the side of your head just <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you want a divorce? I do want a divorce. I do so want you wanna be done? Yeah. I don't care if she sent me back to my I just want a peace of mind. She's not giving me the peace of mind. I'm doing I'm doing everything for her. You know, I'm not getting that appreciation. You know when somebody do something for you? You give appreciation. That person will want to do more. So you're hearing this directly. He's saying he wants a divorce. Are you processing it? Are you receiving that? I'm processing. <clears throat> yeah. So I can't tell. That is it. I told her what I want. I think that, that... A complete shutdown. Yeah. I want a divorce in the marriage because I can't. I can't live my life like this. Yeah. Yeah. That is it. Now, I don't know, I could be wrong, but what it looks like to me is that he's married her to be able to live in the States for the paperwork because he's saying, I don't care if you send me back to my country. That's how bad it's obviously got. So she's lost that power over him. I can't take these relationships seriously, to be honest. It's like that show, 90 Day Fiance. When you see some old overweight woman marrying some 20 year old African guy, he doesn't want you, he wants the paperwork, darling. And people victimize these types of women, but at the end of the day, they know what's going on themselves. They know the guy wouldn't be interested. It's like when the old rich man marries a 21 year old model. You know she's with him for one thing and that's for the money you know he's with her for her looks you do not owe him yeah <laughs> yes it's it's bad but yes it, don't they investigate on stuff like that um i'm not sure they can do much because they could just be like yeah we're in love yeah and who are they to say no investigator anything just because he took you to dinner and you don't owe her by paying for the dinner just because she's a girl. Gotcha, bitch! Alright, big country, would you date this girl right here? No. Why not? Do you see this right here? I'm up here. She more than. Is that a female? The one that was just there? I don't know. Down here, right here. She can't get with this right here. No. He's back again, the man, the myth, the legend, big country. I'm a pimp, P I M P. If you don't know, you do now. I don't know. Is that. I think that is meant to be a dude. But his area has not dropped. How do you approach a guy? Approach? Mm. I, I don't. I let them approach me. They do that? Yeah. I guess. <laughs> when on the day, I'm not only She's like cheat, really did... confused. <laughs> so, do they really come up to you? So. Yeah. <laughs> Too. I thought, okay, I was a bit too manly. Didn't know what half a 30 was. I bet he's glad he didn't pay for the date now when you were filming him and mocking him. Gentlemen, the time for us to honor the order of equality has come. The days of treating people differently because of their genders are over. Shawty is a strong, independent woman. She don't need no man. She can open up her own doors, change her own tires, pay her own bills. Next time you sit in a packed out waiting room and a woman walks in looking for an empty seat, don't even think about giving up yours. Those legs she's standing on are strong, independent woman legs. You offering her your seat. <laughs> 
seat will only offend her. Next time you see a woman carrying something heavy by herself, walk up to her and tell her that she's doing a great job. We love to see strong, independent women. Next time you're driving her home, dropping her off, listen, we don't care if Shawty lives in the hood. Fellas, we can't forget she is a strong, independent woman. She can fend for herself. Oh if someone tries to mug her, don't get out of your car. It's not safe out there. Let her handle it. She got this. Every time you drop Shawty off from now on, speed off as soon as she closes that car door and takes a couple steps onto the curb. We don't do this for ourselves. We do this in the name of equality. Know the game and play it well. <laughs> Estamos the funny thing is, it's what women want. Yeah. <laughs> like they don't want help from a man, but then when it actually comes down to it. Yeah, like, to be, like, for every specific woman. Yeah. What? That didn't make much sense. Every specific woman. I mean, when it comes down to, like, the moment of each individual. That didn't... didn't oh, just it, it go. made sense. <laughs> discoteca en París y no nos dejan entrar porque dicen que somos demasiado jóvenes. Hemos enseñado el DNI todo, pero no. No, no, y, y nos miran y hacen en plan feas, en plan españolas, literal, literal. No, no, que es coña, o sea. So basically that group of Spanish girls have gone to visit Paris. They've gone to one of the top clubs and they've been turned away at the door. They're saying they turn them away because they look a bit too young. And to be honest, when I caught a little glimpse of them, they do look about 12 years old. Not only that, but the club and business is fickle. They only let the top girls in. They won't let girls that are overweight in. It's the pretty girls that bring in the business and make them the money. You wrestle? That's true. Well, none of them looked overweight, but they did look really young, to be fair. Yeah. Like? Like, like a girl, 14, if they've got the height and they know how to work makeup, they can look like they're 20. Because, well, it, like in most of the good clubs, you won't find it in the US much because n none of the good clubs are there, really. Mm. But um, they would only let the best people in. Like, guys, they don't really care how they look if they have money. Fairs. Because they're the ones bringing in the money. But if they look like a bum off the street... Then... Well, yeah. But yeah. the guy who has money isn't, isn't going to choose to dress like a used nappy. <laughs> I don't know. It's the first nappy. thing that came to mind. No. What do you do? I don't get any business, so I got a lot of free time, so I lift weights. Oh, okay. How's that going? Pretty good. You getting any business? Or? No business still, but I'm working on it. Why not? I focus a lot on my uh, Valorant rank. <laughs> Sensational. <laughs> Point of view, you're about to stay in. He focuses mostly on his games. Mm. That's what he was all about. Loyal in an unstable relationship. The point of that is written multiple times. Brother, if you're in an unstable relationship, then get out of it. A lot of y'all been asking me where I've been, and I've been a clown for a man. <laughs> Anyways, the gym's about to go crazy. Did you see the vein pop on her head? That is stress. See? Mm. The gym is about to go crazy. <laughs> now, I don't like to see people getting hurt. I don't really know what's happening. I don't know if he's treated her badly or what. Hopefully not. But she's got that crazy look in her eyes, man. I don't know what she said at the end, but she looks like she's going to do something crazy. And also, I still fail to understand why people put all their business on TikTok. Would you ever have 100k yeah. today? Like, holy damn, every time I go through an episode, I don't post it. I'm like, no, hand me a drink. Oh sh your dream girl and who's your dream girl? I feel like most men live quiet lives of desperation. So I'd take the hundred grand and have a good time. That hundred grand could be used to do so many more things and just get your end away. I don't give a shit who your dream girl is, how bad you want it. If you pick the second answer, you're a simp. I was supposed to have a first date tonight and he just unmatched me on Bumble. So I guess we're not going to get drinks anymore. But I thought I would show you guys my outfit so somebody saw it because I know I'll get questions. My dress is from Eloquy, but I got it from Dianco. My jacket is from ASOS, and my boots are Topshop. Now I've actually got quite a lot of respect for this girl because we're always saying girls can't take rejection but this girl took it well. She didn't make herself out to be the victim even if the media did try to make her out to be the victim. Take a look at this. I got an email from the Daily Mail and the US Sun asking to use screenshots of a video I posted that's gone viral because they wanted to do a story about it. The email was asking for permission. Not sure why they asked for permission because they posted the story without my permission. <laughs> 
And what's even mm. crazier is the headline, like they interviewed me. This is me. I'm curvy and proud, but cruel trolls say I catfished my Bumble date when he stood me up. <laughs> um, Chloe, don't know you, but we never spoke. I've never once called myself curvy. I don't use that term. I'm plus size or I'm fat. So as you can hear her say at the end, she doesn't refer to herself as curvy, she even says herself she calls herself fat. The way the media try and twist things and make people out to be the victim even if they don't want to be is a joke. You saw in the first clip she was kind of trolling, acting unbothered, showing her outfit and they're trying to make out that she's proud of being curvy, that people are calling her a catfish and that she's the victim. And I'll be honest, I ask myself, did she actually take a picture of her whole body or was it just a selfie? In 2022, if a fat person wants to go out with somebody from a dating app, they have to put full body photos showing exactly what they look like. I got so many comments on this video asking if I was just posting selfies. What the fuck? That's not possible these days. I have to take my profile to all my friends and be like, is this what I look like? I wanna make sure I'm accurately representing myself. Hell, I even have a beach picture where my stomach's out and you see my rolls. So he knew what he was getting into. I accurately represent myself on dating apps because I have to as a fat woman. The real joke in this whole situation is the woman that wrote that article, Chloe Morgan. You're a fucking muppet. As a matter of fact, there's only one place Chloe Morgan belongs. She belongs to the streets. Yeah, I'm sure she could sue that Chloe Morgan. <clears throat> yeah. For technically defamation. Yeah. Yeah.